Hi, Rich Karuba for BowlingBall.com. I don't care how good of a player you are. I really believe, and most coaches believe, that you want to use your ability uh, to use warm-up deliveries to your advantage. So how to use bowling warm-up deliveries uh, to your advantage? It's a simple matter of getting a little system. And when you go through your warm-ups from the very first delivery you, you throw just preparing for league competition or a tournament competition, you want to use the deliveries to help you read the lane condition. It's important to do that. Even if they're pretty consistent from week to week in your league and you know what bowling balls you're going to bring and what typically work best for you, still the first thing you should do is stretch out properly. Huh? Loosen up properly before you roll the ball down the lane. It's not only good to prevent injuries, but it makes sense to stretch your legs. Uh, stretching is the best warm-up delivery. Stretch your shoulder, your bowling arm, whatever little calisthenics or little uh, routine that you have to loosen up is what we recommend you do. And then make that first delivery. If you're a right-handed bowler, move over uh, to wherever you normally stand on that condition uh, to make your 7-pin. And pick your target on the lane that you sight for the 7-pin and roll your delivery. You can roll it at half speed. It doesn't matter. And you don't even have to make a great delivery because we know you're just warming up. But the key is, once the ball leaves your hand, to watch it carefully, traveling all the way down the lane and where it's going to break on the lane. You could read the amount of oil built up in the center of the lane or lack of it compared to normal conditions by watching how quickly uh, and how much the ball will hook into that 7-pin spare. Now, if you miss it to the right and it slides further than you're used to, well, the little light should go on in your head and you know probably you'll have to make an adjustment uh, when you first time you see the 4-pin or 7-pin spare. You may have to take a little straighter angle at it or make a little bit more adjustment uh, so you get enough angle and the ball won't back away from the spare. Uh, also, it should tell you there's a lot of oil in the center of the lane and it might affect the way you line up on your strike delivery. Use your second warm-up delivery to do the same thing again. Make an adjustment for the 7-pin and, and roll it down the lane and watch the way it hooks or where it hooks, how far it skids really is the key. Now, we know the ball might skid uh, uh, um, a little less distance than when you're completely warmed up and throwing at your full speed, but nevertheless, if you get used to using this technique, it'll help you evaluate the lane condition and the amount of oil in the center of the lane. Then, maybe on your third delivery, move to the other side of the lane. Right-handed bowler again. Lefty's the opposite, of course. Uh, shoot for the 10-pin, uh, the corner pin spare. Grab whatever ball you're going to use for your 10-pin, typically, and walk up and make a delivery over your normal target for the 10-pin. If the ball skids further and falls off in the channel, it confirms there's a lot more oil in the center of the lane than maybe you're typically used to seeing there, and you might have to make an adjustment for that 10-pin the first time you leave it. If you have to roll a fourth delivery toward it again, fine. Uh, that's your choice. Uh, if the ball hooks too soon and hooks away, uh, and you have to make a decision, well, did it hook away because I'm not up to full speed yet, uh, or it's because there's less oil in the center of the lane than I'm used to. Your eyes will tell you what's happening. Watch that ball all the way. Even if you don't make a, a perfect delivery, you can learn about the lane condition, and that's going to help you cut down the waiting time when you finally start competition to getting lined up for your strike deliveries and making adjustments for your spares so you don't miss them carelessly and throw pins away needlessly. So it's important to do that. Now, if you get more than four or five deliveries, then you move over and you take your ball that you think you're going to begin with and, and line up as you normally would for a strike delivery. Make your delivery down the lane and watch the ball carefully. If you miss the pocket, if you get the opportunity to make another delivery, make a little adjustment. If you're bowling on a pair of lanes, uh, then you need to evaluate or calibrate one lane versus the other. Which lane skids a little further, which one doesn't. You can use these warm-up deliveries to help you uh, in your competition. So when the lights go on, you're ready to go. You have a much better chance of taking off the first few frames and making good deliveries and being lined up correctly so you don't get yourself in trouble. Perhaps even you, you get some strikes early on and you start your session off uh, in, a proper, in a proper way. So warm-up deliveries can be to your advantage. Don't just go up and throw the ball randomly and throw it randomly and, and, and so on and not watch where it is and move across the lane and watch how the ball reacts from different angles. I think if you get in the habit of doing that, uh, and you, especially in the same center like you bowl league all the time, it's going to help you to see little variations in lane conditions. And certainly when you go to a tournament condition and you're not used to that lane, those lanes, it makes good sense then to watch your ball carefully 
and make alignments from where you normally bowl at home. You can make your adjustment changes uh, and alignment changes based off what you see reacting. Pretty soon you're going to trust your eye. and It's going to help you be a better uh, and more adept at making sensible lane adjustments uh, during competition and during your important sessions on the lanes. Hope some of these tips help you. If you have any questions, always consult a coach. Uh, get with somebody that you can share ideas with, uh, maybe even good bowlers that you know, and ask what they do to help make their practice deliveries count. And I think this will be the key step to help you cut down the waiting period to make an effective deliveries when they turn the lights on.